Kenyans will have to part with more money when purchasing a vehicle in the country after the East African Community Council of Ministers approved an application by Kenya to raise duty on motor vehicles under the common external tariff. This will increase import duty from 25% to 35%, further exacerbating the prices of vehicles that have been pushed up by the depreciation of the shilling against the dollar. Faisal Ahmed has more on this story. If you are planning to purchase a vehicle in the foreseeable future, then you will have to increase your budget by at least 200,000 shillings after the new import duty came to effect, having jumped from 25% to 35%. Industry players say that the new prices will affect the ability of Kenyans to purchase vehicles as the tax jump is considered to be on the higher side. The 10% is huge to anyone looking to buy an economical car. Uh, and for example, if you're buying a Pro Box that uh, has already gone up from 900 to 1.2 because of the dollar rate, uh, uh, from 900 to 1.2 and right now with the 10%, it's going to be going to like 1.3. It's too high for the Kenyan uh, person. Further, the dealers say that the final price of their vehicle is usually 50% of the landing cost, with an example of such a unit which was imported for 600,000 shillings, but when subjected to import duty, excise duty and VAT, the cost of the vehicle stands at 1.4 million shillings. For the current price, when this, everything is added, this car can shoot up to 1.4 depending with the, the expenses that this car uh, incurred. This, that's a very big implication because it gives you between 130,000 to 200,000 increase on price. And these will be bared by the final use of this car, which is so unfortunate. The dealers further say that the weakening of the shilling against the dollar had already driven the cost of importation much higher than it was a few years ago, driving down their sales. Sales have gone uh, low. Uh, especially with the now the dollar rate, the dollar went high, so we have been experiencing a bad uh, term for the last like four or five months. And for those thinking of buying vehicles from the locally used market, they're out of luck as well, since they monitor the movements in taxes and the dollar and price their vehicles accordingly. Are they already they are shooting up this car on a let's say a 2014 model that's locally used like Uber for two years. We used to get it at around 650. Now it will shoot up to 900 because that is the only thing that's available in the market. How many people want to drive a locally used car? Very less people. So these cars will shoot up because the demand will go up. According to official data, Kenya imports an average of 81,791 fully built vehicles every year and has an installed vehicle assembly capacity of 34,000 units. With the new tax changes already in effect and Kenyans having to pay at least 10% more on the price of vehicle, this will give a whole new meaning to the saying that driving is a luxury. Faisal Ahmed, Citizen TV, Nairobi. And let's stay within the transport sector for a moment. Public